G'day everyone, today uh, we're going to show you how to configure and set up the LTH M201-6B which is the 6 button module. Now this is the 6 buttons here which you can lift up, you can change the insert to put a name in there. Um, there is a 7th button which comes with the main door station so you can do up to 7 uh, monitors. So basically the whole purpose of this module is you can click individual buttons for say unit one, unit two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can add more of these modules as you need more um, buttons uh, to, to call more unit numbers. Uh, but for today's exercise, I'm just gonna show you how to program this one. Again, as you've probably seen on our previous videos, we've only got one module, sub module. So dip switch one is on. If you were to add a second, then you would not use number two you'd use three and four onwards from there on so basically we've got that plugged into the in and it fits in like that and then this will go on top so that's what it would look like installed now um, these are all water resistant so once they're installed you can get a rain hood which does help stop the water from coming in um, so what we're going to do now is install this and set it up uh, we're going to put a couple of monitors on so we'll use the first two buttons to program to call each monitor individually uh, which is a little bit of a different setup in comparison to the one-to-one -one and two-to-two -two setup we've shown previously Okay, so here we're gonna show you how to program the six button module with another screen. So at the moment we've got a main monitor program to a door station. Um, so that's just a standard configuration like we've shown you in one of our previous videos. Um, it's the main station and that's the main door station. Now we're gonna add another screen so this is going to be for another unit for example if you've got a multi-building uh, system where this is unit one and this is unit two so i'm just going to put in a password and then i'll show you how to set up it's pretty much the same as you've set the initial screen Now, if you already know how this works, you can fast forward to the next bit. Um, so we'll just use the same address that we used in the previous video, which was 53. And uh, same gateway. Okay, click next. Now, registration password. Now, the only difference in here is we're gonna I'm going to leave all this, the unit and all that, the same. But we're going to change the room number to room number two. Okay. So then next. Next. Okay, quickly do your date and time. I'll just leave DST off for now, just so we can show you how this works. Now the door station is 51, which is this one here, 51, next. Now we're not, this is not an extension, so this is a main monitor. So let's wait and let that do its thing. So that's configured. Now let's just double check the settings. This should still work. That's number two. So room number one, room number two. Now you can do the third one, say number three, and it should automatically pair. Now I'll take you over to the PC and show you how that's done. 
Some of you may be wondering that uh, if we've only got two units, we'll have all these unused buttons. So what we can do is we can remove the front plate and we can replace them with these covers. We sell these separately, so to remove and replace the button, it's simple. You just unscrew the screw there. That will pop off. Just be careful. Not clumsy like me. Pop that back on. And make sure you put that on the same way that it came off. It's got little uh, little mounting points there so you can't get it wrong. So yeah, basically that will cover the button and um, you can buy them all individually for how many you need and that will basically, basically cover your button.